Princess Eugenie's royal wedding to Jack Brooks Bank will not be aired live by the BBC or Sky next month because they think it will be a ratings flop but ITV may come to the rescue. BBC bosses rejected the opportunity to broadcast the royal wedding, claiming not enough people would watch the event. The Mail on Sunday has revealed Eugenie's father, Prince Andrew, was trying to strike a deal with the National Television Network. But after the secret meetings with BBC, he was told it was not going to happen. A source told the Mail on Sunday, from the outset, the instruction from the very top was that Eugenie's wedding must be televised. The BBC was approached because they have a special relationship with Buckingham Palace and a formula that works. But they turned it down because they don't think enough people will tune in and that there isn't enough support for the Yorks. The feeling at the palace is that the BBC has dropped the ball. At the end of the day, this is going to be a huge royal wedding, with all the senior members of the royal family in attendance. But nobody wants to take the risk and spend the money it would cost to put it on air. Sky is also planning to show nothing more than short clips from the marriage. But ITV may come to the rescue by pledging a full program of coverage. Eugenie, 28, and her fiancé Jack Brooks Bank, 32, announced their plans to tie the knot in January. The lavish wedding is set to cost the British taxpayer an eye-watering £2.7 million, according to royal expert Hamish Shefford. He said security will cost £2 million, floristry £100,000, music £25,000 and the dress £200,000. Mr. Shefford says Stella McCartney, who designed Meghan Markle's wedding gown, is likely to mastermind Eugenie's show-stopping dress. The couple, who started dating in 2010, will be with at St. George's Chapel the same venue as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. There will be a reception after the marriage in the Windsor grounds, which will comprise a Foon Fair and festival-themed party day. Mr. Shefford told Mail Online, after Meghan and Harry's wedding was the most viewed wedding in history, a second royal wedding at Windsor is certainly going to attract another global audience. He added, with Eugenie and Jack both attendees at Harry and Meghan's wedding at Windsor Castle earlier in the year, they will certainly want to differentiate their day to celebrate their individuality and have their personalities demonstrated throughout the wedding details. After Meghan broke tradition by walking herself down the aisle, and by having a gospel choir and her now infamous preacher, Eugenie will be delighted to have the freedom to do exactly what she wants. Whilst Meghan and Harry's wedding was an international spectacular, Eugenie and Jack will be having a more homely occasion celebrating the best of Britain, but with an equally star-setted guest list. Meghan Markle, 37, and Prince Harry, 33, had their wedding in May. Now as it claimed Princess Eugenie, 28, and Jack Brooks Bank, 32, are planning a wedding that is even bigger than theirs. Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank are planning a festival-style event for their wedding. The minor royals' plans involve celebrating with guests over a whole weekend. While their ceremony would take place on Friday, the couple and their family and friends will continue the celebrations all weekend. Another party will take place on Saturday afternoon. According to reports from people the couple will have a party on Saturday in the grounds of the Royal Lodge. The grand building was Eugenie's childhood home and Prince Andrew, 58, still owns the property. Eugenie's wedding weekend will certainly be jam-packed with events. The couple will marry on Friday in the early afternoon. They will then have a lunch hosted by the Queen at Windsor Castle, much like Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first reception. Then the couple will go on to have a black tie evening reception at the Royal Lodge. If guests aren't exhausted and too hungover, they can also attend another party the next day, where they will be a fairground and different food stalls. A source told People, it is Eugenie and Jack's party and they are very much involved in all the details and decisions. The magazine also reports that Bentley's Entertainment is organizing Saturday's event. The Beckhams also hired this company for their wedding in 1999. 
couple Princess Eugenie be copying Meghan Markle's wedding look. For her wedding to Prince Harry in May, Meghan opted for minimal makeup with all attention on her long, luscious eyelashes. But those lashes weren't the Duchess' real lashes, they were, in fact, eyelash extensions. Hannah Putyato, founder of London Lash, predicts that Eugenie will also sport the same stunning look for her nuptials. Talking to the Express.co.uk, Hannah said, The best eyelash look for Princess Eugenie is squirrel, or kitten, effect. This elegant style will enhance her eyes, making them even more beautiful. Princess Eugenie reveals plans to follow in Sarah Ferguson's footsteps after her wedding. Princess Eugenie, five facts about Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's youngest daughter full name Her full title is Princess Eugenie Victoria Helen of York. She is the Queen's sixth grandchild and is currently ninth in the line of succession. Education Eugenie started her education at Wingfield Montessori before heading to Upton House School and Coworth Park School. She then attended Street. George's School in Windsor before completing her levels in art. English Literature and History of Art at Marlborough College. To undertake her bachelor's degree in English Literature, History of Art and Politics, Eugenie attended Newcastle University. Career in 2013, Eugenie moved to New York City to work for online auction firm Padelaide as a benefit auctions manager. She returned to London in 2015 to work for Hauser & Worth Art Gallery as an associate director, gaining a promotion to be a director in 2017. Social media Princess Eugenie joined Instagram in March this year, the first royal to officially do so. Other members of the royal family have accounts run by the palaces. She has 281,000 followers, but is only following 19 accounts including close friend Ellie Goulding, her mother, and Queen Ronnie of Jordan. Celebrity friends Eugenie mixes in strictly illicit circles and is friends with celebrities in the cream of British society. Close girlfriends include Cressy de Bonas and Chelsea Davy, both former flames of Prince Harry. Ellie Goulding, Cara de Leving, Jack Whitehall, Jimmy Carr, and James Blunt are also known to be friendly with the princess. Meghan Markle has reportedly cut out some of her closest friends in a bid to stop all the leaks to the press she's experienced since marrying Prince Harry. Meghan Markle's inner circle is reportedly shrinking as the newest member of the royal family struggles to decide who she can trust. According to People magazine, Meghan, 37, has had to let go of a number of relationships she had in the years before her May wedding to Prince Harry. Meghan has lost touch with some of her close friends from before the wedding, which has been tough, a source told the publication. She's finding it hard to know who to trust. The magazine claims that she's cut her wide friendship circle down to just a select few, including stylist Jessica Milroney, whom she secretly visited in Toronto last month, her childhood friend Benita Liet, and her makeup artist, Daniel Martin. There's a small group of us that check in with her and see how she's doing, but she's still the same person, Martin told People. It follows months of leaks to tabloids and a regular flow of public comments and interview from the Duchess of Sussex's family namely, her half-sister Samantha and father, Thomas Markle Sr. It was very wearing on her. It's her private life, a source told the magazine of the ongoing drama. The beginning of marriages are not that easy, but to have that impetus of your own family being disloyal is horrible and embarrassing. On Monday, Samantha took to Twitter to accuse her half-sibling of fake waves and smiles and dubbing her Eddie Cass, amid revelations that Meghan hasn't spoken to their father for months. In a series of tweets, she wrote, I am not candy coating anything anymore. The Ducasse should be humane to our father who has given her everything and this media crap can stop. He was the one who was always there for her. Fake waves and smiles can stop. The Ducasse can bow to the daddy. Samantha added, Sorry folks there is no valid or good argument in favor of inhumane treatment of both sides of the family and a best friend of 30 years. 
Snobbery and arrogance are not humanitarian traits. She has an obligation especially to treat our father with kindness. Earlier this year, Mr. Markle claimed the royals were freezing him out of his daughter's life for staging paparazzi pictures and frequently speaking to the press.